How are you all? Hope you are doing great. As I told yesterday, I will be continuing with the short videos on the most prevalent diseases. Uh, so today I have chosen a topic of coronavirus. Yeah, you heard me right, which has created a havoc throughout the world by its disease nature. And today uh, I'll be giving you what is coronavirus and what are the symptoms and what are the steps is has measures has been taken and how can you avoid uh, getting coronavirus okay uh, what is coronavirus this is a coronavirus is a family of viruses in which uh, this covid 19 which has started in a december 19 2019 in wuhan so it's given a, a strain name this coronavirus to COVID-19, also called as COVID-19, it's an infectious disease caused by a severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. It's also known as SARS-CoV-2. It was, uh, this is the first identifier as I told before in uh, Wuhan. Uh, and since then it spread globally, resulting is an, in an ongoing pandemic. Uh, as of now, there are around 4.89 million cases have been reported across uh, 188 countries and territories resulting in more than 3,22,000 deaths. More than 1.68 million people have recovered now, till now. This is the information about the coronavirus. Now coming to the symptoms part, uh, the common symptoms which you notice are, uh, first one is fever will be there, very high fever will be there and the loss of appetite will be there, fatigue will be there, loss of smell will be there, shortness of breath will be there and you have a productive cough and co with that coughing up with that coughing you have sputum will also be there and muscle aches and pain these are some of the common symptoms of coronavirus suppose in a severe disease uh, the symptoms are uh, diff difficulty in waking and some confusion status will be there and bluish face or lips due to it because it affects your lungs uh, so and next one is coughing up of blood will be there and persistent chest pain will be there and decreased white blood cells count will be there and sometimes it may go into a kidney failure and very 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 high fever. The virus is primarily spread between people during the close contact and most often via small 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 droplets produced by coughing, sneezing and while talking. The droplets usually fall to the ground or onto some surfaces, that's it, rather than traveling through the air over long distance because they are heavy, these droplets will fall down. And less commonly, people may become infected by touching a contaminated surface and then touching there to the face. Okay. It's most contagious during the first three days after the onset of symptoms, although spread is possible before symptoms appear and from there people who do not show symptoms. The standard method of diagnosis is by real-time reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction from nasopharyngeal swab which will be collected. Maybe you have seen the collecting swab uh, when you go to hospitals uh, that's called as RRT-PCR. From that you will get to know uh, which disease you are having. Although there is no vaccine till now and there is no proper treatment till now for this coronavirus disease, uh, there is only a symptomatic treatment is provided by the healthcare facilities. And coming to the preventive measures uh, to reduce the chances of infection, uh, this includes you have to stay in home, avoid the crowd places, so keeping distance from others and washing hands with the soap and water often and for at least 20 seconds. Okay, now and practicing good respiratory hygiene and avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Okay, uh, the CDC, CDC means the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention of the USA, uh, it recommends that covering the mouth and the nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing 
and recommends using the inside of the elbow if no tissues are available okay uh, proper hand hygiene after any cough or a sneeze is encouraged and this this also this cdc has recommended the cloth face coverings in public settings uh, where other social distancing measures has to be maintained these are the some of the necessary information you need to know about the ongoing pandemic coronavirus disease and at last if you like my video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video and stay tuned for the next video until then bye bye